in Cognos, we can use a special class of functions that are called macros. Uh, we can find those macros here inside of this query calculation icon. So I will use it to create a new column. And here in this last uh, tab, we can find our macro functions. Here they are. We don't have a lot of them, but we can combine them with ordinary functions uh, to create the complex expressions. Now, even more, we have some uh, macro functions that are not listed in here. For example, uh, in this file, we can see that we have some uh, macro uh, functions that could return email of current user, user ID, uh, first name, and so on. And I will, as example, use one of these commands. So I will copy this command from here. And this command should return first name of the current user. So I will go back to macros. I will paste it here and I will click on validate. And this will not work. The reason is because Cognos is expecting uh, text to be delimited with single quotes. And so we need single quotes around this command, but we will not just type single quotes like this. Instead of that, we will use function sq. So we have to type it like this. Now we have our single quotes. I will again validate this, but it is still not working. The reason is because each uh, macro expression should start with pound sign and should end with pound sign. And only now this will work. I will validate it. Now it is correct. So when I click on OK, I will get a column with the first name of the current user. Now this is not something that is really useful, so I will delete this column, but we can uh, use uh, this uh, macro uh, in a filter, in a really useful filter. For example, if we jump here to 21, I can uh, add another filter, and inside of this filter I will uh, type if, so I'm using ordinary commands and functions, and I'm combining them with macros. So we will say, if, and then we need a pound sign sq function, I will paste our macro command is equal to Milan. Uh, then a filter should be that here is smaller or, or equal to 2016. Else, here should be uh, bigger or equal to 2017. I will validate this correct i will click on ok now because current user is with the first name uh, milan uh, this will be uh, the valid uh, filter so we will see only years uh, for uh, 2016 and earlier so i will click on ok i will go back to page one and we will see that that is the truth so if i if i would now uh, log out from cognos and if i would uh, log in as a, some different user then i would see years 2017, 2018, so the filter would be uh, different. Let us now jump to page two to see one more example. Here first, I will add one a list. I will just click on OK, and I will add one value prompt. That value prompt will use parameter uh, para selected column. And I will just click on OK, on finish, and this means that we have now to provide uh, values for our prompt. So we would use static choices. I will go here, I will click on three dots, and I will create a new variable of string type. This variable will have a name var selected column. I will click on OK. And now we have to create a formula that uh, will uh, give a value to that variable. And uh, that formula is here inside of parameters. We have our parameter. If I drag this uh, parameter here, this parameter will be wrapped inside of a param distal value function. We're currently using report expression dialog. And this dialog has all of the functions as a layout calculation. So these are two uh, same things. And because of that here inside of functions, we inside of report functions, uh, we have a function param display value. And when we drag our uh, parameter here, that function will be immediately wrapped around our uh, parameter name. And then I will validate this and I will click on OK. And now we have to define what possible values are for this variable. And for that, I will click here on plus and I will give a first value. And now I will use names of existing uh, columns inside of our uh, database. So I will use uh, column month okay and again i will use column month key 
So these two values will be something that user will be able to select inside of prompt. I will click on OK. And now we have to change some uh, properties for our prompt. Uh, first, I will make it optional. Uh, then I will turn on auto submit. I will define default uh, selection and that default selection with this plus uh, will be month. So user will first select month uh, column. Okay, and I, I will also go here uh, below to header text and uh, here I will change this to specify text and I will not specify anything because I want to delete uh, this header text. And I will click on OK. Now we have to fill our list. For that, we will jump here to query 2 and we will provide first two columns. That, those columns would be month and month key, but the third column is the one that will be dynamically defined. So I will use query calculation. I will name this column selected column. And now we will use macro. So we will go to macros. And here we have a function with a name prompt. Uh, this is the function that will return um, the value of um, uh, that user have selected. So I will use prompt. Uh, first argument is the name of parameter. So it will be par selected column. And other argument could be, for example, text, or it could be integer. But I will not use integer nor uh, text. I will use token. So what is token? Well, let's say that this is a result of this uh, function. This result would be um, wrapped inside of single quotes if we have used uh, here instead of token, if we, if we have used text. But we are using token, so the result will be like this, without single quotes. So this will be the default result. And that is why we use talk. I will close my uh, parentheses, and then uh, we have to wrap this into single, uh, into square brackets. Why? Why? Because this uh, function will return uh, something like this, and we need a square brackets around the name of a column in order for that to be a valid name. And for that, we would use a function sb. That is for uh, square brackets. And again, because this is a marker, we need our pound sign and I will validate this and I will click on OK and now we can uh, uh, go back to our page 2 and we would add our uh, columns to our list so I will use all of the columns from here and I will add it to uh, my list and here we can see our new column now I will execute uh, this report in HTML format and now it is possible to dynamically uh, change what is presented inside of this column. Now we can see month names, but if we change this to month key, in this case we can see numbers. In this case we can see names, but we can change that to numbers. One thing that is not changed is this header, but we can also uh, change uh, this. I will go back, I will select this cell, I will make sure that this is uh, unlocked cell, and then uh, I will click on this text item and I will see that this text item is getting its value uh, from the name of a column. But I don't want to use that. I will change that to report expression. So I can define uh, the name that will be placed here by expression. I will use uh, this dialog, three dots. And uh, here what I want to be shown. I want, just want to be shown either month or month key. And for that we can just drag our parameter. That is a enough. This parameter will have either value month or month uh, key. So I will click on OK and then I will lock uh, uh, this cell and I will now execute my report into HTML format. And let's see whether it will work now. Go to page 2. Now it's month. We can see that it is month in header. And if we change this to month key, now it is month key. And this is the way how we can combine macros and um, prompts to create some um, great solution.